Ah, g'day YouTube, how are you going? Wow, here we are out at the airfield, and I thought today we would talk about wingtips and winglets. My uh, Ventus CT came with a number of wingtips and winglets, some of which are pretty standard, and these ones here are very not standard. So let's have a look at them and see what the differences are and why you'd choose the different winglets over the others. Well, here's all my options for what I can fly with. So let's first talk about the two 15 meter wingtips. The glider originally came with these little ones here and they actually curled down. You can see there's a little stop on the end there uh, to hit the ground. Next up, we've got the winglets. Now, these things are designed by Mark Melmer, who is quite famous in the world of gliding and wingtip design. But why would you choose to use them considering there is a uh, handicap penalty if you do? There's two main reasons. They do tend to increase the glide performance of the aircraft. So they are controlling the vortices created at the tips of the wing. And that helps improve efficiency as you fly through the air. The other main reason you'd use them is to improve the handling. Depending on what type of glider you're in, they tend to make the glider fly more stable. And you're less likely to actually drop a wingtip. Next up, let's have a look at the 17 and 18 meter wingtips. Now the Ventus CT is a slightly later model from the other Ventus Bs and As. And I believe the Ventus A and B came with the option of a 16.6 .6 meter wing extension. The Ventus C then came out later with this 17.6 meter wing extension. And so the 17.6 was a factory option for the Ventus C. As you can see, I've actually got two lengths of wing extension I can add on. If we put the 17.6 meter tips on, so that's a standard 17.6 meter wing now. By default, they wouldn't come with the ability to take the, the end piece on and off. That was part of the modification so that I can use these 18 meter wing extensions. These 18 meter wing extensions, there's only a few gliders around the world that have got them as far as I'm aware. They're completely legal to fly in New Zealand. It was, was an approved modification and all the paperwork has been done. So these winglets were designed by a chap called Falk Borowski. He's since retired, but others have taken over uh, production of the winglets. So these Borowski tips were installed by the previous owner of the glider a few, quite a few years ago now. So no one's actually ever done any testing to see if performance is improved using the 18 meter wing extensions as opposed to the standard 17.6 meter. So that's something to be aware of. Is it, is it worth spending the money to have these made? I haven't really found any evidence to say yes or no. If we get some nice still weather, I'll try and do some flight tests with them and without them and see if I can measure any noticeable difference. So the other problem with these wing extensions is you're no longer a standard 17.6 or 15 meter glider, which means in most handicap systems won't include this wingspan for a Ventus C. So I had to apply to our uh, local competition uh, committee for a special handicap for these wing extensions. It didn't go very well. They, um, they accused these of being both wing tips and wing extensions, so I got a double penalty for using, if I were to use them. So for contest flying, I'll probably just stick to the standard 17.6 meter tips. The other problem is OLC. I've written to the OLC to request a special handicap for these wing extensions, and hopefully they'll come through sometime soon. So just keep that in mind, they're not standard, but luckily it's very easy to install the previous 17.6 meter tips. So they just slot on and then you tape this up to hold them in place. So I'm flying my 18 meter tips right now and uh, let's point towards the horizon and we'll have a look at the roll rate of the 18 meter tips. So we're going 60 knots and I'm going to roll 45 to 45. So there's 45 and the other 45 and back again. So we'll see how that compares to the 15 meter tips. So right now I've got my 15 meter wing tips on. It's 45 there. And back to 45. Very snappy. 
very snappy. So yeah, let's go through the advantages of 15 metre wingspan. Because of the shorter wingspan, you're more manoeuvrable. So if you're flying in wave conditions, maybe you know you're going to go through a lot of rotor. Or you just want to be really quick and nimble, maybe on a strong thermal day when you want to be able to core really tight. The 15 metres are a lot of fun to fly. If on the other hand, you know you're going to be flying in sort of marginal weather, you want to get the most out of the ends of the day, maybe have a really long glide, or maybe there's some big gaps in the weather and big overdevelopments forecast, you want the biggest length wing so you can do your biggest glides possible. For comparison, 15 meter wingspan will get you about 43 to 1 glide ratio, whereas the 17.6 meter wingspan will get you about 49 to 1, which is insane and it is a noticeable difference. So thanks for watching, I hope that's uh, been useful and interesting. If you've got any comments or questions about the winglets or wing extensions, add them below in the comments. If you want to know more about the uh, Mark Malma wing tips, there's a great podcast where he gives a little talk about how they designed them and a bit of history behind them. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Alright, thanks for watching. Oh,